Hello, it's the Imperfect Gardener here, Gardening for Weight Loss. I have been out working in the garden this morning, and I want to give you a tip about how to keep working different muscle groups so that you don't get completely exhausted before you need to. So I'm going to show you what I did this morning in order to work different muscle groups and, and to keep myself going a little longer than I would if I was just doing one thing the whole time. So I came out, and I'm looking at what I need to do, and one of the things, uh, I have some weed issues, but... Uh, I'm working on those today, but I also remembered that down there at the end, I have some tomato plants that are down from my other ones, and I had forgotten to go through when I was pruning those yesterday, all the tomato plants. I didn't get those ones pruned. So first thing I came out, I got my little clipper things, and I went down there and pruned those back. Uh, that didn't take too long, but it uh, just involves kind of bending over, reaching down, doing it. Okay, so it's stretching the back of your legs and everything. And then I had all these tomatoes in these rows that all were just filled with lots and lots of weeds all around them kinda of like this pe these uh, green beans are down here just tons and tons of weeds so I came down first and you can see in this row that's not finished yet that I went th around each tomato and I just bent over and weeded around each tomato now it rained really really nicely for me yesterday lots of thunderstorms so it's very very wet out here so it was really nice I just got on there and just ripped out all the weeds right around each tomato like I did on this row and I did that for all four of these rows well by that time you're tired of bending over and stretching and doing that with the back of your legs but I wasn't done working yet because I went and got my rake and I decided to since it was so wet and damp that I could start with the big rake for raking out these all the weeds that were along the edge like this and then into the middle on these rows I went through and just raked them up raking and raking and chopping just by hitting that rake now that's hard work on your muscles in your shoulders and your arms but I got it done enough that those are gonna make it a few more days without me worrying about them now did I get all the weeds out no hello I don't get all the weeds out I'm sorry I'm just not that perfect about it if I come through as long as I keep the tomatoes ahead of the weeds I'm good because right now there's just so much to getting everything established. Uh, later on, I won't have as much trouble with those weeds. But if a lot of these will just die because I raked over them like that. Okay, and then the rest, so if some come back, I'll come back and chop through again tomorrow or the next day or whatever, a couple of days. Right now I just got to get the main majority of them out. So I got tired. I'm coming down this row, see where it's not done right here. Oh my gosh, that rake is heavy and my shoulders are hurting. The muscle in my shoulder is going, ah, you know. But I want to finish this next row. So another thing that you can do, another tip, is to get out a different tool. Instead of using the big rake, I am now going to use the hoe. The hoe is lighter for me to pick up. It's not quite as heavy. And it just works a little bit differently. It's some of the same motion, but I still think it's going to help me to uh, get the energy to keep going on this. I also took a moment to stop and pause and do this little video, which is giving my shoulders a little rest. Uh, because we need that. We need to rest a little, uh, give, let it, you know, your muscle regroup. That's why people do, when they're lifting weights, they go around and they do little circuits on each thing. So you do so many in your shoulder, lifting weights this way, and then you go somewhere else and work on your legs. You're giving the shoulders time to rest, and you come back and do a little more with the shoulders later. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, at this point, my next thing would be that once I get this hoed out, um, I could go down and get around, like there's an area here where I was waiting for some okra to come up, and I, don't, I can't even tell if it came up. I'm going to have to dig in deep there around those weeds. I didn't want to weed it yet because I thought there might be some tiny little okra coming up that I couldn't see. So I'm going to weed it now and see, you know, that will take me back to the just bending over, stretching the back of my legs out, uh, squatting a little bit, whatever, that's going to... Uh, you know, then let my shoulder muscles rest for a little while. Although I shouldn't say squatting, because technically I don't actually squat down to do my weeding. My knees are too bad right now. Um, squatting down hurts my knees. So, yeah, if you're overweight, you want might want to avoid the squatting if it's too hard for you to start with. It is for me. So I'm just bending straight over, and, boy, the back of my legs are starting to feel like there's some muscles and stretching in there I didn't know I could do. It's amazing. So I'm still in pain. i got to be honest. Uh, let me turn you around here. Turning, turning, turning. Beautiful garden, isn't it? I am still in pain. I am still having a lot of pain in my knees. And uh, that's the main thing right now is that the knees hurt so bad. I had a lot of trouble with the shins, but I started wearing some better tennis shoes. That's helping my shins. But 
I get up every day and I go, when is this pain going to stop? <laughs> but I have to be honest, I weigh a lot. Um, 324.8 was where I started, so now I'm about 322.8, and I'm betting I'm down this week. I feel skinnier this week. I feel like I'm losing weight now. I am building muscle that I haven't used in a very long time. I'm using muscles that I haven't used in a long time, and it hurts. Uh, I was concerned how bad my knees hurt. You know, am I doing the right things for them? So I, I did go ahead and call my doctor to make an appointment. Unfortunately, he's out of town the next week and a half. But I thought, you know what, that's okay, it, or two weeks kind of. So if I go see him in two weeks from today, it will give me time to see if it's just my body getting used to it and it's going to work it out on its own or whether he has some bright ideas on what could help my knees a little more as I work on losing weight and getting healthy. So don't be afraid to call your doctor and ask for help and take care of yourself. Be careful. Don't overdo it. But garden and, and lose some weight. It's working for me. I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling more able to do things. Even though I'm in pain, I feel stronger. And I know that the pain is going to lessen as I get stronger, even though I'm 50 years old. I'm sure this isn't permanent. I'm sure this pain will go away. <laughs> so garden for weight loss. Switch your uh, things you're doing around from time to time. A few minutes on this, a few minutes on that so that you don't, your muscles don't get completely destroyed on one thing and then you're like dead, okay? So in a few minutes, I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to have me a nice salad. Have fun gardening and losing weight. And turning you around. You know what? Look at the garden, by the way. Some of my gardening for weight loss videos have not had a picture of the garden yet in its glory that it's doing right now. And I know there's weeds. Hey, don't tell me about the weeds, but look at all the stuff that is growing. I'm so excited. It's really coming about. It's just a thrill to watch it happen. So, have a great day and lose weight.